Hello folks, welcome to my uh, video newsletter number four. I've been trying to get this newsletter done for well over two weeks, both the printed version and this uh, video version. And part of the reason for this was firstly, I didn't want to release the video and the, the newsletter until I got everything updated on the website. And that took a few days, but not the, the main thing. Um, and those updates are really part of what this newsletter is all about. But the other reason, and perhaps the, the larger reason for the, for the delay, as I think some of you may already know, uh, my 90-year-old mum had a, had a fall about uh, five and a bit, six weeks ago, and uh, every day I've been visiting her either in hospital or in the care home, or preparing for her to go home, and she is now home, and now she's home, I'm having to go up and uh, visit her every day and uh, caring uh, responsibilities there. And basically it's meant that works had to be um, pushed back a little bit and partly because of time and partly because I've not been able to concentrate on uh, what I've needed to do. But part of that is something I want to talk about at the end of this uh, video newsletter. A really weird coincidence that happened. I won't spoil it, but we'll talk about it later. So what have we got in this video newsletter uh, this time? Well, um, the first part is, I'm afraid, bad news, price rises. But there's good news with it as well. I've got savings um, I want to talk about as well. The future of my flexible hire scheme and how the changes I've made to the pricing structure affects that. Uh, I'm going to share a little bit about uh, what's been going on on YouTube if uh, you've missed that. Um, I want to ask for your help on a matter of uh, getting some feedback or rather me giving feedback. I want to tell you about a new event that's happening actually a week today in terms of me recording this. And finally, I'm going to finish with that really weird coincidence um, to do with, uh, with my mum. Right, so price rises and savings. Inflation is at 9%, at least 9%, and they're talking about it going a lot higher. Everything's costing more. Um, the rent at the studio has gone up, uh, the, the cost of producing everything has gone up. And much as I have tried to absorb those price rises, I really can't go, I can't do it anymore. Gas, electricity, the whole lot's gone up. So it's new prices, I'm afraid, for, uh, for studio hire. Uh, the link to the page on that is down below in the, uh, in the description. It's uh, also um, uh, on the screen now. Now, um, the price rises for the mentorship program I announced last time. And again, you can find the link to all that below. And that's in the document I, um, I made available there. So really sorry, folks, that prices are having to go up, but that's the, uh, the nature of, um, of business just at the moment. But I do have some good news. I've always wanted to recognize um, the repeat customers, the regular customers, and offer savings to them. And those of you who've downloaded the information about the Mentorship Program will, will know a little bit about this already. And the way I'm doing it is I'm doing it through a system of prepayment pre credits. And you can purchase those in advance. And basically, the more you buy, the more you save. So each credit is worth £10 worth of spend. And uh, the reality is that you can save up to 30% on most things that I do at the studio, uh, whether it's events at the studio, hires, mentorship, all those sorts of things. Uh, and it, the min you can save at least 9% as well. So even buying just the, the smallest number of credits, you will make a saving. So do, do check that out. If you're likely to be using the, the, the studio a lot uh, or using my training services a lot, 
You can even use them for the events that I run at the studio, or most of them. Can't do it with the joint events uh, that I, I do with Rick or perhaps other photographers in the future. So what does this mean for the flexible hire system? Well, some of you are on that, uh, where you would buy hours in advance. If you've already got hours, I'm going to honor those, but I'll be in touch to tell you how many hours you've got left and what it means for transitioning over to the prepayment credits. It might take me a couple of weeks to get through to everyone, but I will be emailing everyone before too long uh, about that. And the thing to remember with the change is that Unlike the flexible hire system when you're just buying hours for studio hire, these credits can be used across a whole range of things, not just studio hires and not just um, uh, mentored studio hires. They can be used for events as well. So there's a lot of savings to be had there. OK, so what's been going on on YouTube this week? Well, it's not just this week, it's been several weeks. Since the last newsletter, I've posted a couple of videos. Uh, one, um, this one, all about imposter syndrome and how that affects photographers and some practical hints and tips about how you can work through that to gain that confidence that you need in your own photography. Uh, the other video I've released since the last newsletter was all about perfect sunsets. So that was a Sunday night video and I talked through uh, things like white balance, composition, how you can get those perfect images. This coming Sunday at 7.30, I've got a, uh, a new video. Uh, this is all about using luminosity masks in Photoshop. So it's a, a Photoshop tutorial about how to composite Im um, images. And the example I'm giving is putting a moon uh, image behind a crane and behind clouds. Uh, it's a really well, it's actually quite a simple technique when you understand it, but it does give some really powerful results. So tune in at 7.30 on Sunday. Uh, all be, if, if all goes to plan, I'll be in the live chat to, to join you there and we can talk about these things uh, as well. Talking of videos, the next couple of videos, well, uh, the next one and then not the one immediately after that, the one after that is um, going to be feedback videos. The first one is about um, websites and I really could do with a, a couple of people uh, asking me to provide feedback on their photography website. I've got one person already but I really need uh, a couple more for, for the, the video to work. So if you're happy for me to uh, uh, provide feedback on your website then get in touch, uh, the email address down below, feedback at makingphotos.co.uk. The other feedback video I'm going to do is one of my uh, semi-regular uh, image feedback ones, and that'll be in about three or four weeks time. So if you want me to talk about your image, give you feedback and tell you how you can improve your photography, do send them to feedback at makingphotos.co.uk and I will, uh, will give you um, some feedback. Preferably high resolution and try and keep the shooting data, the EXIF data in the image because that does make it easier for me to give you better uh, feedback. I've got a new event. Uh, the first three sold out really quickly so I've added another one to the, uh, uh, to the calendar and it's actually a week today as I'm recording this and it's all about the power of gels. How we can use gels in our, uh, our photography. Um, the um, the link to it is down below. I've already sold one of the three places, so there's only two left. Uh, do sign up for that if you want to come. Um, I've got a, a, a model I'm working with on that, and it's going to be mixed level, so some of it will be clothed work, some of it will be implied nude, lingerie, and, and nude. And we're going to look at different ways in which uh, gels can really just bring an image alive in the studio. And just to finish, um, currently I finish all these videos with talking about uh, at least one of my images. And this one uh, is now a, a very personal story. I started off by talking about the fact that this newsletter has been delayed because of my mum's accident and that my caring responsibilities. Once she left hospital, she was taken to a, a care home uh, for interim care. She's now back home, by the way. Uh, but at the care home, when I visited there every day, I walked past an image of the Hatworks in Stockport and I, I look, looked at it and thought, 
that's very similar to one of my images. Eventually I took a, um, a phone snap of it, brought that image home, compared it with mine, and would you believe it was my photo? I'd sold it via Alamy in 2019 and uh, it had been printed up, converted to sepia tone and, and was on the wall of the care home. And isn't that incredible? That not only is it on the wall of the care home that my mum was in, but it was the photo that was closest to her room. What an amazing coincidence. Now, my mum is back home. I've still got a lot of caring responsibilities uh, because of that. But I like to think that once I told her about the photo outside, her knowing that one of my photos was just outside her room was something that encouraged her to get up and to start walking again. Okay, so that's it for this newsletter. In the next newsletter, I'm going to be talking about my introduction to digital photography course, which I'm going to launch in the autumn, hopefully in September, which is an online course with some personal interaction via Zoom and feedback. Really, for those of you who are perhaps trying to consolidate your um, your photography skills. Maybe you've never really got your camera off automatic. This is the course for you to take your photography to the next, uh, the next level. I'll tell you all about that in the next newsletter. On the screen here is my last Sunday night video all about um, sunsets, creating the perfect sunset. And below is a link to a playlist of uh, videos which will help improve your photography. So go and take a look at one of those. Thanks for watching and keep making great photos. Bye for now.